nope, not going to do it. This year's unpredictable weather has bitten me far too many times. Hello and welcome to the April issue of the Monthly Market Update, where I look forward to discussing more predictable things like the housing market, the economy, new developments, and the glowing future for Southern Nevada, wrapped up with a very special announcement from our firm for you, our loyal clients. So let's get started. The float of for sale inventory dropped by 9% from February, while new listings actually increased by 15% as new sales were up 6% and closings enjoyed a whopping 37% increase from last month. Still, we remain 35% behind 2022's hyper pace for the first quarter. And once again, now for the fourth straight month, the median sales price has clearly found its bottom at $425,000 and is showing some signs of potential increases in the coming months as the median price per square foot increased to $234 and the average days on the market dropped to $55. Additionally, the condo townhouse market experienced a 2% increase as some value-seeking buyers are changing product types from single-family residences. Based on these numbers, the Review Journal just declared that the Las Vegas housing market stays steady, defying its history of high peaks and low valleys. It's important to note that while prices have stabilized, national reports show that 45% of sellers are offering concessions to lure buyers, which does impact their net at closing. And despite the blip of challenges we've experienced, U.S. News reported that due to the region's strong population and employment growth, a favorable business climate that's extended beyond hospitality and continued interest from investors, the region's housing market could recover faster than other housing markets with weaker economic fundamentals. And one of the reasons for our strong population growth is shared in this Lending Tree report comparing the best and worst markets for property taxes, with four California feeder markets on the worst 10 list, while Las Vegas came in at number seven on the best list. The long-awaited 17,000-seat multi-sensory entertainment venue, MSG Sphere, is set to open this fall, and rock band YouTube will be their very first concert with or without you. And just outside of the sphere, track paving for Formula One's inaugural Las Vegas street race began on April 2nd and will continue through September 15th, two months in advance of the November 16th through 18th race weekend. And continuing to aid our transportation woes, Elon Musk's Boring Company recently released plans to expand a previously approved tunnel system from 29 miles and 51 stations to 69 stations, adding many more miles. The new stations include several in downtown and spanning far south to Blue Diamond and Las Vegas Boulevard, where Oakview's proposed $3 billion stadium and resort is slated. And now for that special announcement. In a continued effort to better serve homeowners in the sale of their property, Coldwell Banker Premier Realty is doubling down on our promotion of Real Vitalize, the seller service that maximizes your equity by conveniently making home improvements in advance of marketing your home with no out-of-pocket expense to you. From painting, carpet, landscaping, staging, and more, this service will assure your home competes at its best, resulting in the most amount of dollars in your pocket where they belong. Watch for our ad campaign on local CBS affiliate 8 News Now and reach out to your Coldwell Banker sales professional for more details. Thank you as always for making us your real estate companies of choice for both residential and commercial needs. Enjoy the winter, spring, or summer weather and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.